right guys so welcome back to the channel sorry it's been a while since i've been posting uh i am actually in missouri again waiting for an uber my truck's at display uh over at the uh, more expo just waiting for the uber to get over there start this day off uh some amazing people out there a couple of youtubers uh trail recons out there uh expedition overlands out there and i think there's a couple other guys out there uh so yesterday i got to meet brad with trailer recon for the first time really cool dude uh it seems like he likes my truck so i know he's gonna have some kind of video out there and this is probably my ride right here because i said a toyota uh forerunner so we'll see you at the expo Alright guys, so I am here, of course, every time. Uh, we're going to start doing some walk around videos today, uh, but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead, hit that little bell, bell icon down below, and uh, the first place we're going to start with is, uh, tailgate and go. Hold on, it's got a focus in there tailgate and go we're going to talk about their boxes you guys already asked me about them on instagram so let's get started hi guys this is taylor with tailgate and go and i just wanted to show you our dry box slash chuck box slash uh dry goods and storage so right now we have our box on a swing out hitch this can go into any two inch hitch receiver what you do is you just swing this away from the tailgate and you've got your kitchen so you just open her up here and all of your dry goods go in this box. Everything is completely modular. There's 360 degrees around the whole box of function and versatility. So every attachment you see in here has 10 different locations. Your spice rack, another cutting board, lots of surface to put things down, you know. Put the beer down. <laughs> but then inside, if you look, all your dry storage underneath. So when you're getting ready to pack for your big trip, all your canned goods, little propane bottles, anything you need can go in there. And you'll put this thing down. And your tray table acts as a divider, keeping your canned goods away from your breads and all your perishables. And it'll just slide right in there paper towel rack, emergency bottle opener, then your other tray table, just side sound on the other side, just making little compartments for each thing. You got your dry storage netting up here for all those little things like matches, headlamps, whatever. And you just shut your box. off on the road let's go check out some more attachments that you can purchase with your box so this is our larger model it fits off the back of a tailgate it's 46 by 18 by 18 we got also have our smaller guy he's called our overlander and he fits in the back of most Jeep models and he's a 36 by 18 by 18 so it just depends on how much space that you're working with our patented notch system on all of our boxes to make it easier for you on the side of any trailer now you can install any attachment you want so say you want a quick you want to heat something up real quick on the stove 
it interlocks just like this right on the side of the trailer all of our attachments are compatible with it we sell it in 12 inch 24 inch 35 and 45 inch slats so come check out our board back here with some more attachments you've got fillet boards all of our grill stoves everything is compatible with this railing system So we do custom powder coating. If you have a vehicle you want to match, a company with logos, a NFL team, we are an NFL official product, so we can do all teams and markings. We were also on Shark Tank, but we're also 100% built in Colorado, family owned and operated, 100% made in the USA. So check us out. All right guys, so I'm here with Rustic Mountain Overlanding. Uh, they build custom trailers. As you can see, and I'm here with Drew. 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 And We're he's going to go. From Birmingham, Alabama. He's from Birmingham, Alabama. He's going to tell us a little bit about the trailer. So let's get started. Hey guys, Drew with Rustic Mountain Overlanding. Uh, we're here at the Moore Expo 21, and uh, we've got the Patrol XC that we build in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, our trailer's made out of all steel. We've got a tilting lid. Uh, best thing about the tilting lid is you can put your tent up here and be able to get to all your gear while your tent's still deployed. Um, it's got hydraulic lifted struts, pretty easy one arm push. Uh, 48 cubic feet interior storage. Hopefully you don't have that much gear, but we have enough space for you for everything in here. Uh, our gear rack uh, on this other trailer, you can tell we've got a rotopack, so we've got those laser cuts where you can fit all your rotopacks and any of Max tracks, max tracks, any of your recovery boards fit on that, that rack as well. Um, we've got a front custom basket on the front. Put your coolers, your Dometics, Yetis, Arctics, whatever your cooler is, it'll fit. All our trailers uh, stock with lock and roll, lock and roll hitch on the front. And if you go underneath, we've got our Timbrum axle suspension. Alright guys, so I'm here over at Extrusion. Extrusion Overland. Extrusion Overland. It's it's I'm a Ford guys guy. I want to say excursion. Uh so and I'm here with Alan. How's it going guys? Alan Reyes. Alright, and we're gonna talk about his new product that he just hit the market, right? Just yes. hit the market. Yes, hit the market, hit the market. just market. recently. We've, we've and, started in July. In, in July. So let me spin this camera around so he can go around and explain his product. You guys are gonna love this. So this is the uh uh, XTR1 platform from Extrusion Overland. Uh, it's based on an 8020 type extrusion. It's highly customizable, DIY friendly. Uh, and what it is is that you can order a bed rack in any kind of configuration, height, length. We have kits for all kinds of uh, truck models. Uh, obviously, we're four guys over here as well, so we've got the Raptor with a, with with this rack. And we have 
Uh, things like, for example, we can grab stru structures that go over the top. And you can have additional equipment on the top. You can have your cases or your, uh, your uh, diesel heaters that are getting a little bit more popular as well. Uh, in this case, we brought our cases inwards so that we have a, uh, the possibility to add a uh, structure that comes down and have a work surface over here. So we can add uh, hinged, you know, hinges, stuff like that. Uh, these has our uh, slide out. It's a full, full slide out. You've got about 70 pounds right now in here. No problem carrying our, our equipment with these stuff. And this is a really cool feature that a lot of guys like, is that you can actually have a slide out side brace, reach your equipment a lot better, stow it away, lock it in place, and you're ready to go. We've got our CNC machine to uh, bike mounts, so that way we're, you know, we're limit the shit metal to only where it's needed. But for example, these Molly plates, they're a cool design, and you can buy them by the piece according to your preference. You can just put a couple of them, you can put the whole side of it. Uh, you know, we can mount stuff anywhere along the T-slot, so possibilities are endless in this system. Uh, in this case, we got our high lift mount mounted on the side brake, on the pull-out uh, structure in there as well. You can do cool things like handles all over the place. Real handy when you're trying to climb up there and get up in your tent and, you know, get up on the tire and get up here, right? So, real, real handy. One unique feature as well is that we can pressurize the internal part of the chambers. So we can have water and then we can have outlets on both sides. We can have uh, pressurized air, then we have outlets, pneumatic outlets on, on both sides. So it's a really, really cool feature. It's a patent pending design. So, uh, uh, and it's gonna just keep growing. We have a lot of different kits and add-ons coming in. Uh, priced very competitively. A standard rack in the anodized finish starts at $5.99. So, you can go from there and configure the way you want it with the accessories that you want. And it's super, super price competitive. Uh, uh, you know, really good option for all the Overland guys who want to get something different, something cool. So, uh, we've got also the water tank over here. This is a company out of Kansas. Uh, BAM gas tanks have started to get into the showers. You probably can see them on Amazon. Uh, great, great tanks made in the US. 100%, so we love it so far. Pressurized, hot shower, so recommend There's a heater in there? Well. No, it's it's the solar, so basically you've got the, you know, obviously at this kind of weather, it's not gonna Oh, okay, hot, I but, see, I see, I see. But it's once it gets out, black. you know, yeah, once it gets out there, it, it starts getting, getting the temperature up, you know, up there as well. So and how many gallons is that? 13 gallons. You can hold 13 gallons, pressurize it, get a nice shower out of that. Most of the ladies out there will struggle. Oh, they're gonna love it, yeah. yeah. That's not a lot of water for them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one rinse is better than, than no rinse. But yeah, one of the cool features that you can do, I mean, it's, it's, you can imagine uh, uh, stuff and, and we can make it happen, right? Like a, a slide out, for example, for your shower. And you can have a shower head and you can just take a shower here by the side of the truck. You know, that sort of thing, you can just slide it back in place. You know, that sort of thing is very compatible with our bed rack. It's, it's, it's uh, limitless uh, opportunities with this platform. In this case, we have our lights over the top. Uh, and we're working on designs for our roof rack as well. And then, of course, we're going to have internal cargo management. So that's going to be a neat feature that we're working on as well. So. All right. And uh, so if you guys have any questions, go look them up on Instagram and Facebook. Yep. And Extrusion, uh, at Extrusion Overland uh, and our website, extrusion-overland.com. All right. All right, guys, so I'm over here at the booth of American Adventure Lab, and I'm with Brent. Britt. Britt? Yes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, and he's got some cool products we're going to show you guys and talk about, and uh, I'm going to let him take over. But first, let's spin the camera around. All right, so what we've got here is our Atlas system. Uh, right now, we have it for the Gladiator. Later this year, we'll have it for other vehicles as well. But the difference here is we actually take the rooftop tent and make it not the highest thing on the vehicle. So that allows us to still run a lot of room for kayaks and mountain bikes, and, uh, cargo carriers and things like that that ride above the height of the cab. 
So what we do is we fold the tent up and it slides in on a rail system and then secures and locks in. What that also means is the tent is no longer necessarily tied to your vehicle. So it really opens up your ability to find a, to find a really nice camping spot that just might not be level. So the tent folds out, it levels itself, and it articulates to, to get yourself level in the tent. So it's worked out really well. Awesome. Cool. Trash bags for your car. Hang on your car. Yep. It's okay, so <laughs> you want this on or off? It's uh, it's fine, it lights it up just good. Okay. Cool. All right. all right so stepping around to the back of the jl we have what we call our mass system which stands for modular adaptable storage system and the concept is we install a vehicle specific plate on the bottom and that establishes our grid pattern once we have the grid pattern all of our accessories kind of move around and stack like legos so that gives you the ability to both modify your system as your needs change and only buy the pieces that you need to make your setup work and uh, the flexibility of that mass system has worked out really well, and we're pretty happy with how it's turned out. Open some of the drawers and stuff so we can see. All the dividers come out, so if you decide that you need them in there, pop them in and throw a zip tie down in the bottom and that eliminates all the rattles. So like this one's all nice and tight because it's zip tied in the bottom. Awesome. It's all about that slide life. It is. You gotta pack a bunch of cargo into a small space. It's good way to do it. I gotta ask, what wood is that? That is popular. That's popular? Yeah. So we popular? I like it because it's super lightweight. The wood grains are always really nice. And it stains up and seals really well. It just doesn't really look like it. Yeah. Nice. Alright guys, I'm over here at the booth of Sniper X and they have this really cool trailer and I'm here with Bill and he's going to do us a little walk around and tell us a little bit about it. Alright, go ahead. Hey folks, how you doing? This is the Sniper X9. These are manufactured in Australia and then we import them into the States over to Tulsa where our office is. They've got the rear entrance, the stairs and the stabilizer leg fold up and attach to the back door as you're driving so when you stop drop it down open the back door release the latches push the roof up set this back awning up and you're ready to go in about three minutes flat it's an incredibly easy setup inside it's got a queen size bed it folds up so you've got a table and two seats in there so you can get out of the weather LED touch lights red arc battery management system Two 22 gallon water tanks on board, feed the water heater, feed the sink. So you've got hot water, you've got a great bed to sleep in, you can stand up, get dressed, 
have a nice meal. You can't get camping any better than that. Got a storage compartment here on the side that you can also put a pull-out fridge in instead of having the fridge on the inside. Two burner propane stove. Folds up. Slides in. Just that easy. Canopy on the side here comes and stretches out over the kitchen. Easy setup with it. Great coverage so you can stay out of the weather. Full size spare tire. Two 11 pound propane tanks. A McHitch coupling system. 300, 360 degree capacity so you don't have to worry about getting into a bind. Huge storage compartment over on this side. Windows, have them all the way open, partially open. Got a full shade on the bottom, screen on the top, or you can have a combination of either. Shower enclosure that tucks away nice and neat inside the, inside the camper. Water heater. Water controls inside there for filling your tanks. You've got just about everything that you need for an incredible camping experience. It's 1,800 pounds, so you fill up your water tanks, fill up your gear. You're maybe 2,000, 20, 2,200 pounds. It's really lightweight, easy to pull, six foot six high, six foot wide, so when you're pulling it with your tow vehicle, you hardly know the darn thing's back there built to be towed behind a Jeep or other vehicles that are kind of small. It's just, it's an awesome camping experience. Got a full room enclosure on the back here so you can put kids and cots, have it as a changing station. Just makes for a nice- I didn't even notice the cot there before. Yeah, it just makes for a nice <laughs> extra space. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. All right, guys. So some of you guys know uh, there's a couple YouTube channels in my life that basically got me hooked on overlanding. And uh, one, actually, those two big channels that really got me hooked are here today. Uh, we're going to do a little, just kind of a glimpse. I'm not, he already got everything all packed up, so I'm not going to make him unlock everything. But uh, you all should know him. The man right here, Brad at okay. Trail Recon. So, I'm just gonna do a quick little video, just kind of walk around. And if you want to tell us anything about it, you can if you want. So, all right, so he's got a 2020 Power Wagon by Ram. It's got the 6.4 Hemi in it. What KCs are these? Say again one more time. Okay. And then the the bar. The bar is from uh, Ellis <laughs> Design. Okay. He he does have a YouTube video. I'll link it down below for you guys. So if you want to know uh, how the install went and everything like that, I'll put a link for his video in there. And then, are these the tires that came on it? No, these are uh, ADB uh, wheels on 37s. <laughs> Lift is stock, right? Lift is stock. Suspension is still stock for now. And then this is a... This is new, isn't it? So this is the Patriot Campers. This is the Patriot Campers uh, X1NH. This is the new Code Red Edition. Okay. It's run on 35-inch. Uh, uh, wheels. It's got uh, 120 amp hour, 220 amp hour batteries. It's got 40 gallons of water. It's got a kitchen, storage, uh, awesome awning, rack system, just about anything you could need when you're out on your adventure. Let me jump over here real quick. He's got the power tank, fuel cells, water tank.
All right, guys, but that's his setup he brought out here today. Uh, I'll put a link down for the one video for the lights. You did a video on this too, didn't you? We just did a trail video, off-road video, off-road video. All right, so go to his channel, like, subscribe, if you want to see the walk-around video he does on this one.